Hello and welcome to today's video guys. Today we're gonna do a video about how to speak English in Östgöts dialect. Dialect. With me today I have Katrin Bern. Hello. Hello Katrin. Do you want to present yourself? My name is Katrin. I'm the interviewer today. I thought you had a bunch of questions for me. Yes, so could you please explain to us what exactly is Östgötska English? Well, Östgötska is a way you speak in Sweden. And it's a certain part of Sweden that you have this dialect. And just like any other where in countries, you can go around and you have different ways you speak. And here we speak Östgötska. Are there English versions of every accent? I don't know. Uh, probably. So for how long have you been speaking Östgötska? I don't speak Östgötska in my private life, Katrin. If I did, then you would probably not love me. How long have you been living in Östgötland? I've been living in Östgötland since I was a very small child, even since I was born. Duh. So what are some of the most uh, prominent characteristics of the, the accent? In Sweden we have something that we call rullande eu. If you don't speak Östgötska it will be rullande r. It's when you roll around the r. And in many Swedish words that's what you do. You roll around the eu. But in Östgötska we can't really use the r that way. So we put a w instead. For, for example, a Swedish sentence would be Räven raskar över risen But in Östgötska would be Räven waskar över waisen That's one example Another one is that we usually say the After sentences What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything It means when you talk to someone you, It's just something you throw in afterwards Maybe it means like do You So if I were to say Oh, what nice weather we have today, though. Then you just add it in the end. Oh, den här maten var skitgod, då. And that means this food was very good, though. Do you have any other endings that you add to sentences? Well, I think we use something called eller when you're asking a question. If you're gonna ask someone if they are good, then you can ask, är det bra eller? That means, is it good eller? And what does eller mean? Eller means or. Are you good or? Maybe if you spoke in English to a Swedish person, <laughs> person, then maybe they have said, do you like me or? It's something very Swedish we do when we speak English to add or when we ask a question, even though it shouldn't be there. That's one way you can very easily spot a Swedish person when they speak English. Am I right, Katrin? Or? Yes. A typical error that Swedes do because that's the way we structure it in Swedish. Yes. Do. So, what tips do you have if someone wants to learn how to speak a Swedish? Well, my tip would be that you come to Sweden and you go to the tractor of Norrköping, maybe Linköping, or maybe Mjölby, or maybe here where we live, in Motala. And you learn and just soak in every dialect from the people, and then you learn to speak like they do. So what exactly is Östergötland known for in Sweden? As you've seen on a video not too long ago, we have something called the Vettenrunda, but in Östgötska it will be Vettenrunda. That's one of the things we have here that's very famous. Also we have Göta Kanal, where you can sluice your boat when you go up and down with the boat in the canal. Who made the Göta Kanal? Balsa from Platen, då. Where was he from? Motara, Woo! of course. It's Motaras pride, yes. Motors pride. I'm trying to pronounce the things a little better so that you can understand me because if I use W's everywhere then it would be very hard to follow. I will put subtitles below if you have a hard time following. So what's your favorite thing about Östgötland? 
My favorite thing about Osteos, we have Vettern here, and in Okoska it will be Vettern. And in Vettern there's a lot of nice bathing places where you can swim, you can have fun in the water. Can you tell us what Vettern is? It's a, it's a lake, one of the biggest lakes in Sweden. So do you want to live in Osteos your entire life, or do you want to move somewhere else? I am East Goat born and raised and forever. Well, thank you so much for this lovely interview. Thank you. I hope you will enjoy your life in Estia, man. I hope you will too. <laughs> yes, I think I will. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, guys. I hope you had a sunny fucking day. <laughs>